oral versus topical minoxidil, which one works best for hair growth? Minoxidil is one of the most well-researched treatments for hair loss, but there is ongoing debate about whether oral or topical minoxidil is more effective. In this video, we will briefly break down the scientific data, compare the two forms, and explain how minoxidil is activated in the scalp. Minoxidil was originally developed as an oral medication for high blood pressure. However, researchers noticed an interesting side effect. Patients taking minoxidil experienced increased hair growth. This led to the development of topical minoxidil as a treatment for androgenetic alopecia, also known as male and female pattern hair loss. So, how does minoxidil work? Minoxidil works by widening blood vessels and improving blood flow to the scalp, which helps deliver more oxygen and nutrients to hair follicles. It also activates potassium channels, promoting follicle cell proliferation and extending the hair growth phase, or anagen phase. This activation stimulates dormant follicles, leading to thicker, healthier hair growth over time. The activation can only be successful on the scalp, if the user has an enzyme called sulfotransferase, which is not always the case. Sulfotransferase or SULT1A1 converts minoxidil into minoxidil sulfate, which is the active form responsible for stimulating hair growth. People with low levels of this enzyme in their scalp may not respond well to topical minoxidil, as their body struggles to convert it into its active form. Oral minox bypasses this limitation, as it is metabolized in the liver and enters the bloodstream already in an active form, which may explain why some individuals, including myself personally, see better results with oral minoxidil compared to topical. A study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology in 2021 compared oral minoxidil, 0.25 mg to 5 mg daily, with topical minoxidil, 5% of the liquid solution, or foam per day. The results showed that oral minoxidil was equally or more effective than topical minoxidil for increasing hair density and reducing shedding. Another study in the Journal of the European Academy of Dermatology and Venereology in 2022 found that 1 mg of oral minoxidil daily led to significant hair regrowth in patients who did not respond well to topical minoxidil. Topical minoxidil requires daily application to the scalp and can sometimes leave a greasy or flaky residue, along with an intense itching sensation. Many users find this inconvenient, especially if they have long hair. Oral minoxidil, on the other hand, is taken as a pill, making it much easier to incorporate into a daily routine. Topical minox can cause scalp irritation, dryness, and itching in some users. There is also a risk of increased facial hair growth due to accidental application or dripping. Oral minoxidil may cause low blood pressure, dizziness, fluid retention, and increased heart rate, though these side effects are rare at low doses. Shedding is a common temporary side effect with both forms, especially when you first use the medication which is to be expected. Oral minoxidil may be a better choice for people who experience scalp irritation from the topical solution. It may also be beneficial for those who find it difficult to apply topical minoxidil consistently. People who have low sulfotransferase enzyme levels in the scalp and do not respond well to topical minoxidil may see better results with oral minoxidil. Topical minoxidil is still the FDA-approved and most widely used form of treatment. It is a better choice for individuals who want to avoid systemic side effects that may come with oral minox. Since it is applied directly to the scalp, it may be a more targeted treatment for hair loss. Both oral and topical minoxidil are effective treatments for hair loss, but the best option depends on individual preferences and tolerances. Studies suggest that the oral version may be slightly more effective and convenient, but it also carries a higher risk of systemic side effects. If you are considering switching to oral minoxidil, consult a healthcare provider to determine the right dosage for you.
Let us know in the comments whether you have tried oral or topical minox and what your experience has been. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more science-backed hair care tips. Stay tuned.